Granite Tours, part of the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 Geography course. Right, so the keywords you're going to have to know for this. Bathyllus, Granite Tour, Joints, Glaciers, Chemical Weathering, Dartmoor, Pressure Release, Freeze Thaw, Clitter and Core Stone. Okay, so this is the first diagram here. Remember, when you draw in your diagrams, don't use a ruler. You've got to do it freehand. Okay, and annotate your diagrams to show the examiner where you're talking about on your diagram. It's no good in just having this big amount of text here. You've got to show it on the diagram as well. Okay, so the large area of granite is called a batholis, okay, and it's covered by a layer of soil. So this bit here is the granite, and this bit up here is the top layer of soil. So that's something that you'd have to annotate on your diagram. Okay, granite is an igneous rock formed by molten rock cooling. Okay, so it's igneous rock caused by the molten rock cooling. Okay, in the centre of the rock, the vertical joints are far apart. And as you move further sideways, the vertical joints are closer together. So these bits here are the vertical joints. As you can see in the middle, they're a lot further apart. There's a greater distance between them than here, where they're close together. Okay, and where the joints are closer, they're a lot more susceptible to chemical weathering. In warm and wet climates, weather the joints at a much faster rate. So the closer joints are going to erode at a much faster rate than the far apart joints. OK, so here it's going to erode a lot faster than here. OK, so this is our second diagram. OK, and the far apart joints erode at a much slower rate, meaning that they are uh, relatively high, whilst the close together joints erode at a much slower rate, leaving them low, uh, at a much faster rate, leaving them a lot um, lower. So you can see these haven't eroded as much as here. OK. So that means that this bit here is at a relatively much lower point to where it was, or to here, which is at a relatively high point, especially compared to the close, uh, close together joints, which eroded much faster rate, which means that they're a lot lower. Okay. And then during the ice age, glaciers will have come over and eroded away all of the topsoil. So this is the topsoil. So you're going to have glaciers, and they're coming over, and it's just going to get rid of all of this topsoil here, it's gonna go away. Okay, and this is gonna leave a granite tour, like this. Okay, so a named example of this granite tour is Hay Tor in Dartmoor. So I've got a little picture of it here. So you can see that is what a batholith or a granite tour looks like. Okay, so the joints are far apart because uh, the air, uh, because they're far apart, because the joints that are close together over time, they'll have weathered so much at such a fast rate that they have uh, been totally weathered away and eroded away, so they're no longer there. Okay, so when the glacier has eroded away soil, a huge weight has been taken off the granite. Okay, and this has created vertical joints, as you can see here. There's a lot more vertical joints than there were beforehand. Okay, and this process is called pressure release. So when the pressure is taken off the granite, it's um, called pressure release. It's quite an easy one to remember that. OK, but that's a really key word. That's a level nine word. So if you can put that in there, you're showing the examiner that you're capable to get a level nine. OK, so the rock either side is from three freeze thaw weathering. So this here and this here, that is because of freeze thaw weathering that they're there. OK, so this granite has been worn away by freeze thaw weathering, leaving this. OK. And this pushes the rock apart, breaking bits of it off. OK, so like this. Freeze thoughts at broken it apart. And the rock that's broken off is called clitter. So this proper name for it is clitter. And that is only for granite. So only in granite is this bit called clitter. OK. And the tor is left with boulder like core stones, which are rounded off due to chemical weathering. So the core stone here is being rounded off due to chemical weathering. And you can see that on hay tor as well. So the vertical joints are far apart and the one that's furthest apart, much higher. You've got the clear coming down all the hill, coming all the way down the hill. OK, and it's nice and round because of chemical weathering. 